Hi, and welcome to a brief introduction to Auto Entry. My name is Oliver, and I'm a customer success representative here at Auto Entry in Sage. And I'll be here to walk you through the basics of Auto Entry, explain exactly what Auto Entry really does for you in your business, uh, show you some of the benefits, talk about our subscriptions, and walk through a live demo of our program so you can take a look for yourself. Let's get started. First, let's begin with what is Auto Entry. Auto Entry is a solution that helps take away the data entry for you and your business manually entering data in your accounts as we can all agree into your is very very slow it is a tedious task and your time would be better used working on your business and serving your customers doing manual data entry yourself also means that there is more time spent looking for lost documents maybe a receipt fell out of your pocket an employee forgot to send something over to you and then correcting mistakes inside of your accounting software all uh, amounting to increased amounts of time that you are spending doing your accounting and data entry where auto entry could be taking over that piece of it with auto entry, you can automate that data process, giving you more time to focus on supporting your customers, building your business, um, and creating a better environment for yourself so that you can focus on the things that you love to do rather than doing your data entry on a day-to-day -day basis. So while all of that sounds great, how does it work? Auto entry captures the data from your invoices, receipts, bank statements, vendor statements, whatever documents that you have, and then allows you to categorize them and publish them through to your accounting software. It removes the grind, the pain and hassle of manual data entry and gives you valuable time back so you can focus on your business and what you were wanting to do rather than data entry. With auto entry, you can photograph, scan or email the documents into the system, uh, making it easy for you to import information into auto entry and whatever is convenient for you. You can let auto entry do the data entry work for you by creating the entries inside of our system and you come in and just verify and make sure that they're going to the right place, which then leads to publishing those results into your accounting software to make for a seamless transition of documents from one place to the other. There are many benefits to auto entry, but they can be summed up in a few buckets. Speed. When it comes to auto entry, we try to get your documents back to you as soon as you possibly can. We understand we understand that your time is extremely valuable and we want to make sure that we are getting your documents back in a timely fashion, which leads into timeliness. Our documents are produced back to you as entries within uh, 30, to, 30 minutes to two hours, um, generally looking at the 30 minute timeline. Uh, however, we work to increase that speed as we improve our systems from feedback from our customers, which also leads into accuracy. Accuracy, it, we understand that is a very, very big, important piece of doing accounting. And so our system learns from what you are doing. It learns from what it sees from you, and it creates accurate on-time documents and entries for you to move into your accounting software. The environment of auto entry itself, so the user interface on the internet as well as the mobile app are extremely user friendly um, and we ensure that we are constantly reiterating all on, on those features, making sure that it's up to date with our branding, up to date with uh, feature requests from you, from you, our customers, and making sure that it is consistently a easy experience so that data entry doesn't become more cumbersome. Security is our number one priority. We can't stress that enough. Our privacy and data on data security policies are posted on our website, and we are ensuring that we are always compliant with any regulatory bodies that we need to be. Never feel like you're alone. We have support for you everywhere. We have our knowledge base that is constantly updated by our teams. We have our online chat support, and you also have our customer success teams to ensure that we are getting you set up for success moving forward from day one. Some of the top things to keep in mind when it comes to auto entry. If you have an invoice that has tons of line items and you wanna make sure that all of those are broken out in your accounting software, auto entry can do that for you. Uh, we can take your document, split out all the line items and allow you to uh, categorize them to each individual spot that you need to. This can be done either automatically or manually if you choose. 
if you have multiple tax rates that go onto your documents, we can also set out your tax summary so that you can set up. Maybe it's going to a certain percentage, one item, and another item is going to another. You can absolutely do that within auto entry and it will be reflected within your accounting software. And let's say you've got a document that's already been paid and you don't want to take that extra step inside of your accounting software to mark it as paid once it gets there. Auto entry allows you to publish documents that have already been paid into your accounting software. So it's one seamless entry into your account already showing up as being paid by the appropriate card or bank account that you have. On the right hand side of this slide, you will see our top integrations, whether that be Sage, both online and desktop, Zero, QuickBooks, and a bountiful amount of other integrations as well. Some other things to keep in mind with our online integrations, you can set up the auto publish feature, which regularly your can publish your documents as they enter into your system. So let's think about documents like your cell phone bill, your utility bills. Those will automatically come in, be coded to the right supplier and publish into your accounting software. If we think back to the original scenario that I talked about when let's say an employee forgets to send you over a, a receipt or you don't get something from somebody that you thought that you should have, you can set them up on auto entry as you have unlimited users that can join the company and they can submit receipts and invoices for approval on the go using our mobile app to you. And if you want to get right down into the next level of automation with our document fetching option, you can have auto entry pull your documents from your suppliers, such as your hydro companies, gas companies, bank statements, phone bills, and you can connect those to auto entry and it'll pull in your statements on a weekly basis. In terms of pricing, we work on a credit basis and they are billed on a monthly subscription. We go, we range from anywhere from 50 credits to 2,500 credits uh, per month. And these credits can be seen as, for example, one credit would be a single invoice uh, with no line item extraction. If you're wanting us to create those line items for you, it would be two credits per invoice. And because of the amount of information that is on our uh, bank statements, those would be three credits per page. Some other things to note about our pricing. Our fees are based on credits and billed on a monthly subscription, as I mentioned. However, there's also some things to keep in mind. There's no yearly subscription. You're not locked into anything, no contracts, nothing like that. As I mentioned before, there are free unlimited companies and users. If you have a subscription with us, you can create as many companies and add as many people as you'd like to the company. Let's say you've got a month where you had an insane amount of business come through and they're all going through auto entry and you went over your credits that you had for the month. You do have an overage limit on your account automatically to a lot for those types of months and those business needs. There's no hidden charges. What you see is what you get when you speak to our sales team. Uh, whatever you are quoted, that is what you would be billed. You can renew early at no charge um, and you can change your subscriptions um, if you are finding that you are using more or less credits. You can change your subscription to match your business needs. And any unused credits will roll over for 90 days of the purchase date. You can check out our website at autoentry.com forward slash pricing as our prices will be posted there for you in your local currencies. Now, while all of that is great, and we can talk about auto entry from a hypothetical. I'd love to walk you through a demo of the simple process of uploading documents and moving them to your accounting software. The basic level of auto entry is as simple as this. So when you log into auto entry from autoentry.com, this is what you'll see. You'll see a dashboard of your company. As you can see, this is a test company that we've created for these demo purposes and inboxes for each individual document. You've got bills, which would be anything that your business is purchasing. Your vendor statements, which would be statements coming from your vendors, let's say, for example, home hardware, to outline your invoices that you receive for the month. And you can reconcile within auto entry any documents that have come through auto entry to that statement. You have our sales invoices, uh, where these are anything that you are billing to other clients. 
Your bank statements, what bank statements is, it's unique in, in the sense that we take your PDF versions of your bank statements and turn them into downloadable file formats that you can then upload into your accounting software and complete the reconciliation from there. And then file management is when we speak about document fetching. This is where it will organize the documents that it fetches and allows you to uh, pick and choose which documents you'd like to process. On the left hand side, you've got your company settings to break down anything that you want to do and set up with your company within auto entry, your contacts and manage lists, which would include your charter of accounts and tax codes and your integration settings here on the left. You've also got your company wide settings such as adding your individuals, any activity going through the company. Uh, this would be your um, profile settings in terms of your subscription and then this will be your email, first name and last name. So in terms of auto entry and using the program, think about it in four steps. One is upload your document and that can be done in one of three ways. One is through the mobile app, which a lot of our clients use due to the convenience. You would simply take a picture from our mobile app and send it through to auto entry by choosing the correct folder and company. You can click upload document here in the top right hand corner. You would select your company if you have more than one. Select your folder, which is the type of document that you're uploading. And you can drag and drop onto the screen or click browse where it will allow you to pick and choose files that are downloaded to your computer. And finally, you have your email where you can forward emails from your email provider, whether that be Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo, whatever it may be, you can forward your invoices from your email directly into auto entry using this forwarding address. These are unique to your company and will be generated when you create your company and we ensure that there are no other emails like it so your documents will only end up in your company. The next step is processing and this is a step that you don't actually have to do any sort of work. Processing is our system creating the entries inside of auto entry. As you can see in the inboxes here, I've got 159, 3, 53, and so on. In the inboxes, these, this is where the invoices that are completed the processing stage will show up. As I mentioned earlier in the webinar, this would include the 30 minutes to two hours time frame that I was referencing in terms of processing. Again, from my experience, it does show up around 30 to 45 minutes. The next is verify. So once a document shows up inside of your inbox, which you will be notified via email, you'll see entries that are showing up within this inbox here. What you'll see are empty boxes. In this case, because this is a demo account, you will see that there's information placed in here, but you'll see empty boxes, one for vendor account, one for category, and one for tax code. This is where you come in to tell this document where to go inside of your accounting software. So vendor accounts, so who does this belong to? The category is what chart of account lines up with this invoice and the tax code um, that applies to this invoice as well. And the final step is clicking publish and that pushes it through to your integration. Taking a look at this entry just to kind of give a more in-depth view of this. On the left you'll see all of the information that is related to this invoice. On the right is the picture of the invoice that you have uploaded and if you scroll down here on the left hand side here is where you can manually add line items or a tax summary, or if you've allo uh, allotted for auto entry to extract that for you, it will then show all of your line items here. In simple terms, that is how you use auto entry. Four steps. You upload the document, allow our team a little bit of time to create those invoices for you, verify that they are going to the right pl place in your accounting software, and publish them through to your accounting software. From there, your entries will appear in whether that be Sage, QuickBooks, Zero, whatever it may be within about five minutes or so, and you can continue your accounting from there. That is auto entry in a nutshell. Thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to helping you make this data entry process easier.